Hey there, everybody. Uh, back again with my Harley Benton SC400 Single Cut Gold Top SGT. Uh, I've got one more mod that I'm going to throw at you today. You say potato, I say potato. You say piezo, I say piezo. Tomato, tomato, piezo, piezo. Let's call the whole thing off. Okay, so uh, I found this on eBay. It is a pa piezo bridge for a Les Paul. Uh, I found this for under $30 on eBay. Uh, it comes with new mounting pegs that I don't think I'm going to need. I think it's going to be a perfect fit. So let's unwrap it and see what we got inside the paper case. Okay, wrapped in paper, came quickly and easily. I picked the one on eBay that said ships from the United States, other than shipping from China. I'm sure they have a warehouse somewhere in California. And you'll see that I've got a two-way lead coming out of the bottom with hot and ground. It's taped up on the bottom. Looks good. Alright, so I'm going to put that uh, in place of the original bridge. And then I also have a stereo output jack. I'm going to wire up the magnetic to the tip of the jack and then I'll put my piezo on the ring of the jack. So I'll have a stereo output. And then I'll use a Y adapter to run the magnetic pickups to my guitar amp. And then I'll run the piezo to the board through an active direct box. And I'll give you some sound samples at the end and compare it to uh, what we've already got. So I'm going to get started, uh, take off the strings, and uh, replace the bridge, and then work on the wiring. So thanks for joining me. I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, I've always wanted a quality hybrid guitar, and this is going to be my attempt at a low-budget quality hybrid guitar. All right, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for joining me. All right, I've got the strings off. You can see that I've taken apart the stop tail piece, so I've taken off the string holder, and I've taken the bridge simply off of its posts. And as I went to place the new piezo bridge, the diameter of the posts is slightly larger. So I'm going to have to change out the posts, but thankfully the ferrules are the exact same thread. So I'm taking out the old post and simply taking the new post that shipped with the bridge and putting it into the same ferrule. So that won't take long. Uh... So, I'll get it uh, put together and see you real soon. Okay, the new posts are inserted, and you can see that it was a perfect fit. The string spacing and the bridge spacing was exactly the same. So, I simply put the new posts in where the old posts were and slid the new bridge right in. I didn't have to move that at all. It's a perfect fit. So. Uh, I'm going to start by taking off this bridge position humbucker, and I'm simply going to run the wire for the piezo into, I'm going to drill a small hole in the ring, and just run that wire right into the body cavity through the pickup spot, and make sure that there's enough room and it fits right in there, and then simply wire it up to the new output jack. So I'm not going to install a preamp in the guitar. I know that the piezo signal is really quite weak, and you'll always need some kind of preamp, and most guitars with a hybrid system come with a preamp installed in the guitar, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run a preamp in the line between the guitar and the mixer, and then I don't have to modify the guitar any more than putting in a new bridge. So. Uh, I'll cover all that a little bit later, but right now I'm going to start work on the electronics. I'll see you again real soon. Okay, 
in order to get the piezo lead down into the body cavity, I did drill a small notch into the um, ring around the pickup. And I also did use my drill to draw a very small hole into the edge of the guitar body right in the edge of that pickup. So there's just a small hole going down so that lead, the piezo lead, will be able to fit right into that little notch and then into the guitar cavity and then I'll be able to route it through to the output jack. So a little bit more modification. Again, take your time, think through it, be careful with what you're doing. So you, as the old adage goes, measure twice, cut once. All right, I'm about ready to put it back together. I'll see you a little bit later. All right, I wanted to give you a little bit closer view of what I did. So again, I took my, I think it's a 3 16 drill bit and I drilled just a small channel down into that guitar cavity, into that pickup route. So I'll be able to run the lead from the piezo down that tiny little channel, and then it'll slide right into the guitar cavity. And I'll be able to wire that directly then into the output jack. Okay, I just wanted to give you a close-up view of that little notch that I drilled into the pickup route. All right, see you a little bit later. All right, if you watched my last video where uh, I got the guitar and I replaced the electronics inside the guitar, uh, then you heard me tell you that the body is made out of basswood as opposed to uh, a real Les Paul where it would be made out of mahogany with a maple cap. Well, I'm finding that the basswood will, the screw holes will strip really quite easily. So I've got a quick fix. I've picked this up along the way. I've got a wood toothpick and I'm going to put that into the stripped out hole and then I'm just going to break it off and I'm going to leave that tip of the toothpick inside that hole. So when I push this wood screw down it'll screw into that hole with the bit of the toothpick and it'll press against the sides and be a quick and easy fix for a stripped screw hole in a wood guitar body. All right. Uh, I'm almost ready to flip it over uh, and get the electronics wired up. See you then. All right, I just wanted to give you one more shot uh, looking down at the new piezo bridge. I think it's a nice clean install with the lead going down into the pickup cavity. It's not too obvious. It's not going to bother me a bit on a $100 guitar. So I'm really looking forward to getting this wired up and getting some sound samples out for you. All right, see you then. All right, I've got the... Uh, body cavity back opened up and you can see here I've got the piezo lead pulled through and I've got the um, original output jack, the mono output jack and I'm simply going to disconnect the positive and ground and then wire in my stereo output jack again uh, combining the grounds and putting the magnetic pickups onto the tip and putting the piezo pickup onto the ring of the output jack and then using a Y splitter on the way out of the guitar. All right, so I'll get that wired up and get it all put back together. We're getting close. I'll see you again real soon. All right, now that I've got my guitar back together and the bridge in place, there are three things that I want to check. First of all, I'm going to recheck my neck relief using this slotted straight edge so that fits over each individual fret. And I'm able to check the relief on the neck and typically uh, we use the truss rod to adjust the relief on the neck. Again, uh, if you watched my last video then I talked a little bit about that. The second thing I want to check is the height of the bridge. I want good action on my strings. I don't want the strings too high above the fretboard. And again, I don't want them so low that I get fret buzzing on the fret. So a nice smooth action all the way up and down the neck and then the third thing I'm going to check is the intonation and you check the intonation by sliding these saddles back and forth depending on the pitch of each string and if you've never done that before then there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube and you can check out how to set your intonation I'm not going to go through that with you but before I uh, give you a sound test those are the three things that I'm going to check the relief on my neck using the truss rod the action of my strings on the pull piece adjustment up and down and then the intonation setting each individual saddle 
sharper flats. All right, once I get those things set, then I'll plug it in and uh, give you a sound check. I'll see you later. All right, everybody, here's what I've got for a sound comparison. In one hand, I've got my Martin DM. This guitar is probably 30 years old, and when I first got it, of course, it didn't have any electronics in it. I had an old Barkus Berry under saddle piezo that I installed myself. I wired it directly into an end pin jack. There's no preamp. I run straight out of this guitar into my BBE Sonic Maximizer Active Direct Box and then straight into the board. In my other hand, I've got my Harley Benton with brand new piezo installed. Again, no preamp, no electronics. I run into a, a Y splitter and I take uh, the tip in the ring and the ring uh, is the piezo and it runs into the BBE into the soundboard. So, I'll give you some comparisons. Uh, I won't tell you which is which. I'll just put the sound clips and you decide and I'll reveal it there at the end of the video. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Guitar number one, the first guitar you heard was the Harley Benton. The second guitar you heard was my Martin. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this super inexpensive acoustic build for a hybrid guitar. I am really pleased the way it turned out. I, I just can't even believe it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just type them down there in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Have a great day, everybody. See you next time.